My son was a 13-year-old honor student when he was killed. And that's why I continue to fight and struggle for justice, not only for my son, but for all stolen lives. He grew up in the Gowanus houses in Brooklyn. Um, he was a very, he was an excellent student. Um, he had just came home from school on um, that day. Actually, school had just started. This was um, in September. So school had just started. Um, he came home, uh, he did his homework, and his friends came by and asked him, can he come out and play? So he went out and they were playing. They were playing a game of cops and robbers. They all had plastic, plastic toy guns. None of them looked at anything like a real gun. Ain't no easy, you know, task for me. This is actually the third time I'm meeting with this uh, at the DA's office. I've been through hell with dealing with Charles Hines, you know, after this had happened. I've been to Charles Hines and he's been basically, he's the one who basically covered up this case. You know, he tried to blame the incident on a plastic toy gun that didn't look real at all. And the fact remains that you know, for the last 20 years, I'm out here battling, trying to get them to take a good look at this case so that they can, you know, see the reality as to what happened. This was a rookie cop. He had a habit of patrolling the buildings with his gun drawn. Nicholas and his friends, uh, upon when Nicholas heard uh, the officer say, what are you doing here? He dropped that plastic toy gun and said, we're only playing, we're only playing. The officer shot him anyway. Like I say, they used the plastic toy guns to cover the case. And they've been on uh, this case right here with Nicholas Jr., man. It's, it's, it's a, to me, it was a, I couldn't have even thought or even believed that uh, this officer wasn't going to jail. I just knew that they was going to lock this guy up for what he did. You know, and here I am 21 years later, still out here trying to bring awareness not only to my son's case, but to all of these innocent lives that are being murdered out here. There's a lot of lives that are being stolen, and they're actually covering up every single case. that uh, 
the investigation from Ken, from Charles Hines 20 years ago. They are having difficulties finding them files. said they're going to continue.